Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Review Stuff. And I know that this is kind of a strange review to do on my channel, um, but it is legit a review. So I thought where else to put it but on Peter's Review Channel. So if you didn't watch my main channel, I did a first impressions unboxing of Jeffree Star's Alien Palette. I'm also doing a giveaway over there. But I wanted to do a review of the lip scrubs. Now, if you don't watch my vlogs and you don't watch my videos on a regular basis, what you won't know is that I'm literally obsessed with lip scrubs. And it actually started probably, I would say like a year ago at this time. And it was when Jeffree Star's 2017 holiday collection came out last year. I ordered um, four of the lip scrubs. I'm not sure if I ordered if it's all four of them, but I ordered four of the lip scrubs last year. Um, the ones I ordered were the, uh, and they're all velour lip scrubs. I bought the pancakes and syrup. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it doesn't really matter. And then I bought the uh, candy necklace. And I bought the lemon icebox cookies, which we're going to talk about in a second. And then I bought the marshmallow. Okay. Now, I also bought last summer when the Thirsty Palette came out, I bought the rainbow sherbet. And then I bought uh, the orange gummy bear. Since then, and this is just a few of the lip scrubs that I have over there in my drawer. Um, I have bought the Lush Bubble Gum because so many people recommended it to me. The Lush Bubble Gum and Honey. I will tell you that the Lush are not my favorite. I love Lush products. I love the smell of them. I love to use them. I think they're so much fun. In fact, I have, I, well, I don't have it in my hair anymore. I better not. I washed it out. But I use Veganese Conditioner today and Sleepy Lotion on my body. So anyway, um, I, I don't love the, um, the Lush lip scrubs, which you can see. I've actually, here I'll show you. I'll turn this down a little bit. I've used quite a bit of the Honey. Um, I don't love them because they kind of fall apart and they don't really stay on your lips. And one of the things that I love about Jeffree Star's lip scrubs is that they actually stay on your lips. Like you can put them on there and they'll just kind of stay. But to then scrub them in a little bit afterwards... And they also taste fantastic. Now, the Lush Bubble Gum is really good. Um, I've actually used, you can see, quite a bit of that. Um, but they're just not my favorites. They're not my go-to. I actually do a lip scrub every day, if not every other day, um, as I'm going to bed and sometimes in the morning as well. I love them. Um, a couple other ones that I got were this Bliss Fabulous, Fabulous Sugar Lip Scrub. Um, I used it like one time and I just didn't like it at all. It's real greasy. And then the Burt's Bees is one of my favorites as well. This is kind of pricey, the Burt's Bees, um, for what you get. And I've used it like once or twice and I didn't love it either. It's really, really greasy. So this year, I'm so excited. I bought the entire collection of Jeffree Star uh, lip scrubs that came out. Um... Now, it's interesting because I ordered the palette through Beautylish by accident, and it took me till today when I ordered it, when the whole collection went on sale. But Jeffree Star Cosmetics, I literally got it probably, I don't know, like five days after I ordered it, so it came really quick. These lip scrubs, honest to God, have been sitting on my counter waiting for me to try them. They look like they have little scratch and sniff stickers on them, but they don't. But I have been waiting to try these, and I'm so excited to finally try them. This is like... Christmas morning and you get the stocking and then you open it and there's 15 lip scrubs in there. Why? Who wouldn't want that? Lip scrubs are so much fun, okay? It's fun for a boy and a girl. It's fun for men and women. It's fun for anybody, okay? Anybody can use lip scrubs, even your grandma, all right? And let's just be for real. As much as she kisses you on your cheeks, you want her lips to smell good and you also want them to be smooth and soft, don't you? Okay. So, um, I love the lip scrubs so much. Now, let me tell you about the, the holiday collection last year. Well, first of all, let's go through the thirsty. Um, the orange gummy bear tastes... The thing I love about Jeffree Star's lip scrubs is when he says that they'll taste like something, they taste exactly like that. Um, the orange gummy bear is very good, but it basically just tastes like an orange gummy bear. Um, and you can see I've used quite a bit of that. I mean, when you have so many, it's like... I mean, I probably don't need to buy another lip scrub for the rest of my life. And I, I think they stay good. I don't think that they're bad. And then the rainbow sherbet is not my favorite, I have to say. And it's green. Um, I don't dislike it. It's just not my favorite. So you want to know what my favorite is, right? Well, I can tell you what my favorite is not. And I actually got one that's similar to this this year. And I'm going to see if it's very, very similar. Um, right here. Hold on a second. My two last year that I got that I did not love. I didn't dislike them. They just weren't my favorite. Um, was the candy necklace. And it's not bad. It literally tastes just like a candy necklace. And you can see I've used, I mean, a little bit of that. Um, but the one I really did not... 
I don't know, for me, I kind of like to have like a little bit of a clean thing going on when I do a lip scrub, but the pancakes and syrup was too much. Now, if you like pancakes and syrup and you want it on your lips when you're doing a lip scrub, the pancakes and syrup would be fantastic for you. Um, and I, I've actually kind of, well, I wonder if my husband got into that. Husband? Because <laughs> there's quite a bit of that gone. It smells straight up like, I mean, it smells so much like pancakes and syrup. So if you're hungry, I mean, you can just bite into that. So this year, the ones that were in the collection that I got um, were pumpkin pie. You can see the little sticker on there. I'm going to turn this down while I'm showing you these. Pumpkin pie. And then the one I was really the most excited about was eggnog. Can you see that? Come on now. Come on, light. You can't see it because it's like... Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's a sticker of an eggnog drink. And then um, this one was French toast, which I have a feeling will be a lot like the pancakes and syrup. And then I got um, the, which one is this? Salted caramel. And I'm interested to see what that's going to taste like. So I'm going to open those in a second. Oh, I didn't tell you what my favorites are. So if you want to buy some that came out last year, I don't know if he still has them for, I didn't even look to see if they're still available. My two favorite lip scrubs, where is it? Okay. Uh, well, the runner-up, Miss Runner-Up, to the Lip Scrub Beauty Pageant of the Year. I love lip... Do you guys love beauty pageants? Oh, my God. I am totally obsessed with beauty pageants. Okay. So, anyway, the first runner-up, shall the winner not be able to fulfill her duties as Lip Scrub of the Year, is Marshmallow from last year. And the Marshmallow Lip Scrub is fantastic. It is really, really good. Oh, it smells like marshmallow. It's so good, you guys. It smells like marshmallows, like, on a bonfire. It's fantastic. But my favorite, the winner of the 2017 Miss Lip Scrub pageant is Lemon Icebox Cookies. Okay, this is so fantastic. And my husband and I, we took these two, uh, you can see I've used quite a bit of it. Um, we took it with us when we went to Punta Cana, the Dominican Republic, this summer, and we used it every day, and it was fantastic while being on vacation. If you would like to go back and see some of those videos, you can see I got stung by a bee over here, and then my entire eye was red. So the, really, the only thing I had going for me was the lemon ice box cookies, and they were fantastic. So that, that's my favorite of life. If I was going to tell you to order one that I think is, like, so good, the lemon ice box cookie is the one. Now, I will tell you, I love the packaging on these. I know it doesn't really matter, but can you see? It's, like, real shiny. I mean, they're all of them really pretty. Like, here's the Thirsty palette. But this one's really shiny. It's shiny on the bottom, too. See, I mean, it's still lush. It's just kind of a dead, isn't it? I'm not going to throw it because I like those. I know y'all like when I throw stuff, but I'm not throwing it. Okay. So let's open these. I think I'm going to go for the eggnog first because that's my most excited about, the one I'm most excited about. So they come in these little boxes, as you can see. Here, I'll turn this down again so you can see. Little boxes. Little houses. They have little stickers on them like I should. Okay. You guys are like enough with the ring light. I know, but I love working with it. It's so much fun. It makes me feel like I'm a professional. Did you ever watch the movie Smoky Mountain Christmas with Dolly Parton? Oh my God. One of my most favorite movies of life is Smoky Mountain Christmas. And there's this part when she's helping the little girl um, like hang a room. Because you ever, we need to hang you a room. You need some privacy basically. So you take this uh, blanket and they hang it over the, the over this cord in the bedroom and she gets her own room. And she and Dolly Parton goes, not bad consider we're only professionals. I love that part so much. Anyway. I'm dreaming of a Smoky Mountain Christmas with eggnog velour lip scrub. So here it is, okay? Here it is out of the box. Pretty. Pretty as a picture. <laughs> okay, so, um, I mean, it's white kind of glitter on the top of it. Very much like the other ones. Like, the orange doesn't have so much glitter on it, but the pink from last year does. Oh, but there's different packaging from last year, did you see? Okay. So there's three different kinds of packaging from last year. So this one, the first one, the eggnog is white when you open it. And it's brown color. I haven't had eggnog in a while, but I don't know that, that I think that that tastes like eggnog. Okay, so I'm going to taste it and then put it on my lips. Because I love when Jeffree Star goes. Hmm. I mean, it's really good. Like, I would say it's a close contender to the lemon ice box. It tastes like a sugar cookie. Um... And you can just look it off. It tastes straight up like a sugar cookie. There's a little bit of an aftertaste that kind of reminds me 
This is the eggnog, isn't it? Yeah, there is, <laughs> there is a little bit of an aftertaste that reminds me of eggnog, not really. <laughs> I mean, kind of. If you were drinking eggnog maybe while you were doing it. But it tastes straight up like a sugar cookie. It's really good though. I mean, it's really, really good. Like I would, I would buy this one again, but I don't need to when I have 15 lip scrubs. But I, I, this is the problem with beauty stuff is once you start buying it, then you just can't say no to the stuff. Um, <laughs> by the way, I'm buying the entire four products, Chanel men's <laughs> makeup line. It's basically like a face wash, a chapstick. It makes you think you're wearing makeup, but you really aren't. But anyway, I'm gonna review that on here. Okay. Um, yeah, it tastes like a sugar cookie. It has a little bit of an aftertaste. It kind of tastes like a, like a little bit of like a smoky sugar cookie. I don't know how to explain it. That might be the eggnog part of it. Like nutmeg. Nutmeg is maybe what it is. It's fantastic. I really like it. So I'm going to put that in number one place. Okay, number two, we are going to do the pumpkin pie. So I'm real excited about this one because <laughs> you know on here I did all the pumpkin pies and I love pumpkin pie and I love anything pumpkin pie. So here it is, same kind of a container. If I opened this and it was straight up orange like pumpkin, I would love it. Oh, it is kind of pumpkin-y. Look at that. Can you see how, like, it, see? Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. The deceivery that goes on when you use a ring light. Hi. Okay, so anyway, did you ever see those videos back in the day when beauty influencers were like, I can't remember who did it. It was like Wayne Goss, I think, may have done it, or somebody did it. I don't remember, but they showed like what beauty influencers look like with no ring light on. It is, get your ring light just for next to your bedroom when you wake up in the morning, okay? Turn that, say, to your husband or wife, say, I want that ring light on when I wake up in the morning. I don't want you looking at me with no ring light, okay? Because it does, it, hey, hello. Okay, so anyway, this is the pumpkin pie. I'm going to taste this one. <laughs> How can you make a lip scrub review video go 20 minutes? Have Peter Mon do it. Okay. Mm. Oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> oh my God, that is so good. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> do you guys know the pumpkin pies from McDonald's? <laughs> that is what it tastes like. Oh my God, it is so good. Mmm. I am so over pumpkin stuff, let me just tell you, okay? I could care less if I have another pumpkin thing to say, <laughs> but this is so good. This might beat icebox lemon cookie, <laughs> lemon icebox cookie. Okay, this is delicious. These are really good this year. I'm really impressed. I'm kind of scared to do the French toast now because you know I didn't like the pancake last year. So right now in first place is pumpkin pie and then in second place is eggnog. But they're both really, really good. I think they're $12 is how much they run. Which, you know, they're comparable to Lush. It's the same price. This Birth Bees was like $12.99. Um, I don't know how much this little thing was. I think this uh, Fabulips. That is so corny. If I was sitting in a boardroom and somebody said, what should we call our company? Well, I don't know. Lips of Glory. No, I don't like that. Faded Lips. No, I don't like that. Star Spangled, Spangled Lips. No, I don't like that. How about Fabulips? That's the one. I'd be like, you're fired out. Okay, that is corny. So anyway, but that, I think she was about $3. Okay, let's get into the French toast one. I did love French toast when I was a little kid. Did you? Oh my God, every time we go to a restaurant, I, have to or, I always have to order French toast. There's a little picture of French toast on there. Okay, let's open this up. Looks brown, just like your French toast. You want it to be all brown. It looks like the cinnamon on top of French toast. Oh, maybe that's what it'll be. Maybe it won't be so pancakey taste. Maybe it'll be like cinnamon. Let's see. Are you ready? Mmm. Ah! <laughs> These are all, <coughs> excuse me, interesting to me this year. This straight up tastes like French toast, but like, like really good French toast. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like I really, you guys, last year, I really did not like the pumpkin or the pancakes and syrup. I really didn't like this one at all. It's like so syrupy, but this is more like cinnamon. Yeah, okay, so the pancakes and syrup really are all syrup. It's like, it tastes like syrup. But, or however you pronounce the word, okay? I'm from the Midwest, so get over it. <laughs> but anyway, syrup, syrup. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, this French toast is really, really good. It actually, you know like when you have like cinnamon toast? I mean, this could be cinnamon toast too. My lips are going to be so smooth. My husband is going to be so happy when he sees me tonight. 
You can really smell it. That one's strong, too. Okay. The French toast is really, really good. Now, I will tell you, this has just replaced eggnog. The, all the three of them, and I really didn't think I was going to like this one, all three of them have been fantastic so far. I'm really impressed with these. Really, because, I mean, usually, I like one or not the other, you know, or I won't like all three of them. These are all really good. Okay. So now, pumpkin pie is in the first place. Uh, French toast is second, and eggnog is a close third, but they're all really good. And the only reason I would say eggnog is third because it tastes really more like a sugar cookie to me. So, yeah, um, but it doesn't taste like the I the lemon icebox a sugar cookie. So now, this one is the salted caramel. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. Oh, salted caramel, probably. Okay. Are you guys ready? <laughs> Got to clean off my tasting finger. Okay, let's see what salted caramel looks like inside. Oh. Looks just like French toast, though. Hey, let's just look at this for a second. I mean, it's almost, ooh, I can smell it. It smells like salted caramel, but they're almost identical colors. No, salted caramel's a little bit lighter. Okay. I feel like, I wish you guys could see this here. I'll just show you this really quick. Okay, I am basically, I feel like I'm like at a taste test center in a cosmetic. Oh, shit. Oh, I said I wasn't gonna throw it. If you watch my review of these last year, I went like this, and it, oh, see, it came out again. You don't want to do that on the Jeffree Star lip scrubs, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they came out last year. I better, <laughs> whoo, that salted caramel smells so good, though. But you see how much you get, right? Okay. <laughs> but can I just show you really quick? I basically, oh, oh, I basically feel like I am like a cosmetic taste tester right here. Hi. My name is Peter. Um, I am code 51825, and I am the taste tester for Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Okay. Uh, no, not pumpkin pie, eggnog, no. Uh, French toast, salt, salted caramel is the one that we want to try. Okay. Um, yeah, it's good. It's straight up, tastes like salted caramel, so if you like salted caramel, you're going to love this. Um, it's very good. It kind of, don't tell me I'm scrubbing my lips wrong. Okay, there's no wrong way to scrub your lips. Just get over it. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth of the nature all day long. We not need to turn that ring light up a little bit. Okay, that looked better. Um, it kind of reminds me of the pumpkin, or the pumpkin, I keep on saying it. It kind of reminds me of the pancakes and syrup a little bit, but not really. Um, but kind of more of like that very sweet, kind of sugary taste. I would say it's the sweetest of all four, um, the, the, the salted caramel. But a lot of people really, really like that. I just would say it's not my favorite. I don't dislike it. Like, I have to honestly say, like, of all of them that I've ever ordered, the pancakes and syrup I would never get again. Like, never. It's too much. Like, I just don't like it at all. Um, I would get this again, but only if other ones that I really liked were not in. So... Of the four lip scrubs that I got this year, let's take a look at them. Number one would be pumpkin pie. Loved it so much. Number two is, what did I say? French toast is so good. Number three is the eggnog. And number four is the salted caramel. My favorite are the top three. And my favorite is the pumpkin pie. And not just because I like pumpkin stuff, but just because I also think I don't know. I just think it's a really fun scent and I don't, and flavor, and I don't think that it would just be great for Christmas time or fall either. Like, I think it would be good. It's so good. I just want to keep on eating it. I'm hungry. Oh, shit. I didn't check the carbs on these and I'm on a diet. Anyway, it is really good. I really like the pumpkin one. If you don't like pumpkin at all, though, you won't like it. I'll tell you that. And if you don't like pumpkin at all, then I would probably go with the French toast or the eggnog. And if you want a really safe bet, I would go with the eggnog because it straight up tastes like a sugar cookie. It's really good. So anyway, there's my review of the Jeffree Star Lip Scrubs. If you guys have bought them, purchased them, if you've used any in the past, let me know what you think. Put it in the comment section below, and I will be back with another review tomorrow. I love you guys, and I will see you then. Bye.